Hello, my name is Christy Walker, and I am the Director of Career Services at Durham Tech. And today, I'm going to talk about creating a resume. So what exactly is a resume? A resume is a document that is used for people seeking employment, seeking entrance to college, seeking an internship, and sometimes for seeking volunteer work. A resume is also a concise document detailing your education, your skills, your experience, and accomplishments. The resume is used at the application stage of the process, and it is used to help employers get to know you and your abilities. It is going to be very important that whether you're applying to a job, an internship, or if you're using a resume to seek entrance into college, whatever reason you're using a resume, it is going to be important for you to cater that resume to either the position or the school that you are trying to get entrance into. That means you may have to change a part or parts of your resume every time you turn it in. That is a very common practice. So what I'd like to talk about next is the format of a resume. So the format of a resume, the big thing is, it needs to be one page. Gen generally, if somebody has a bachelor's degree or an associate's degree or something, um, a high school diploma, let's say, then it needs to be one page. Once you get into, let's say, master's degree programs or doctoral programs, you can end up having more than one page and that's fine. The font is important. So what you want to use is a sans serif font. That means it is a font without the little tag marks on the end of the letters. It is easier to read. Some examples of those are Arial, Calibri, and Tahoma. You will want to use for the body of your resume between a 10 and 12 point font size, except for your name. Your name can be larger, like a 16 point font, but please make sure that the font size of the body of the resume is no smaller than 10 point because it gets very hard to read. With your formatting, it is important that you use bullet points and not paragraphs because the bullets draw the reader's eyes to the points that you're trying to make and it just makes things a lot easier to read. You'll want to left align your resume and then use headers when you can.